Good evening, Leo gentlemen, and welcome back to Will's Cartomancy Tarot. If you're new to my channel, I certainly appreciate both your viewership as well as your subscriptions. Okay, now this reading that I'm about to do for you guys is more so a who's coming towards you read. And this reading is not only valid for you, Leo gentlemen, but is also valid for those alternate lifestyle Leo females. Okay. So with that said, I'm going to use my Love Norma's deck to convey your reading today. And rest assured that this reading may not and will not resonate for each and every one of you out there. But for those for whom this reading is meant, I certainly hope it offers you the information that you're seeking. And in this reading, my objective is to at least share with you what I see, what you may have experienced thus far or maybe in a process of experiencing, and what you can expect for the future. I'm also going to share with you um, per various personalities, how I think this female coming towards you might look, and, you know, to share various attributes, both positive as well as negative. All right? So, again, this reading will not resonate for each and every one of you. For those of you who relate to this reading be sure to give it a big thumbs up and you know don't try to stretch anything here all right so as indicated i'm going to go on and just shuffle up my Lenormas deck here all right so spirit what insights can you provide me surrounding leo's relationship and this reading is valid from now until the end of this year okay so i'm going to start off ladies and gentlemen just by you know, just selecting a few cards from the bottom here. And it looks like I've selected a bundle here. So, all right. So, we have the anchor. All right. And that's air energy. Okay. Gemini, Aquarius, and Libra. We have the book, which is earth energy. Capricorn, Taurus, and Virgo. We have the star, which is water energy. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. We have air energy again with the ship here. And rest assured, I'm going to give you a consolidated story of what I'm seeing here, but I'm just plucking a few cards from the bottom just to see the more predominant energies here. We also have the cross, which we have fire energy. Okay. We have the coffin, earth energy. The ring, fire energy. The fish, earth energy. And then we have the mountain, is also fire energy. So you have a mixture of all. It seems that all of the signs are certainly present here. So let me go on and just open these cards up here so I could just try to get a sense of what this is telling us and what to be expected here. Okay, let's see. Make sure that you're able to, to see the cards correctly. Okay. All right. So, gentlemen, and of course, females out there, what I'm kind of seeing is that it looks like that many of you, you certainly desire a very stable relationship here. Okay. And it could be a secretive type relationship or side interest type relationship that I'm kind of getting here or someone with whom you dealing someone whom with whom many of you are dealing is hiding another love interest perhaps okay and I feel that because you have this book here you might want to examine your situation a bit more further before making a haphazard decision and you really need to gentlemen and ladies out there trust your instincts here with the star okay because i feel that many of you are deluding yourself about a romantic situation but some of you might even fall in love nevertheless and it looks like that you might fall in love it looks like it could be with this ship car someone at a distance or it could be a foreign person a migrant or you know just somebody you know just a foreigner in some sense or someone on social media you know with whom you've been having some type of contact that i'm getting okay i feel that you're either going on a 
romantic interlude, or some of you will meet this person while on vacation or simply get away if you are in an existing type situation here, okay? But rest assured, gentlemen and ladies out there, problems are certainly going to crop up here with this cross card here because it seems to bring about a lot of problems. And I feel too that even an emotional loss is to be expected, which will cause a very painful separation, just as predicted in your counterpart's reading. Okay, a lot of the information is similar here. Or you're going to finally have, finally have closure with an ex I'm getting. And it's going to be a very miserable, this ex I'm getting or this person appears to be very miserable. With lots of skeletons hidden, you know, in her closet I'm getting. And she might even be unemployed and feels a bit suicidal perhaps because you may not want to, you know, continue with a relationship with her. I'm seeing very dark features, very negative and possibly already committed to another person here because you have this coffin here, with, which is a very dark type card here. And you have the ring that follows it next here. So it shows an unreliable type commitment here that's going on. And I'm seeing a heavier set type woman here that who might be have or did run circles around you or is running circles around you that you're feeling. Okay. And because she's having up, she has all these skeletons. That's why the book appears here because there's a lot of secrets. Either you're having holding, withholding them or the people with whom you're dealing are. Okay. And I feel that if you deal with this woman, she wants an open relationship. So you need to understand that. So I wouldn't delude myself into thinking that she would want anything other than just an open relationship and then perhaps just to use you for her own agenda here. Okay? So the key is, is you know, self-control certainly is the key because, as I said, when you have the mountain here that's showing there, also that predicts a lot of challenges ahead that you're, you're unaware of and delays which will result in a stalemated or, or a block type situation. Either you're going to block this person or that per, this person is going to block you. It's going to end in a lot of regret. So really, why waste your time here? I'm kind of getting. I'm also picking up a sense that this trip that many of you might be going on is going to result in a painful type trip. You know, and I'm also feeling too that there seems to be a stagnant type partnership or business arrangement that you guys are going to get in. You know, it seems like you're going to connect. I'm seeing some type of financial blockage too as well. Okay. All right. So let's go on and just select and, and just, I, I feel that, you know, you guys just, you're going to have to really make a decision here that I'm getting just as predicted in another reading. But let's pull a few cards to just look at your past situation or, you know, where you might be in regards to now, okay? We have the garden, all right? We have the tower, and don't be alarmed because it's not the same tower in the tarot, all right? We have the fox. We have the sit, we have the mice, okay, and we have the woman to represent her. So you see these cards look a bit challenging, gentlemen and ladies out there. And let me go on and consolidate this into a story for you so that you can understand here. So it appears you met someone at a social gathering or party or either set of a celebration or even, in fact, a wedding. And you found her to be very charming, very desirable here. OK, but she's a party girl. I mean, she's very attractive, but you I don't feel that I don't think that you really realize you wasn't the only one who really wanted her. She didn't really want to, you weren't the only one, and she really didn't want to settle down. She seems to have been a player. She might have been involved in some type of research work or PR work or maybe plan events or something like that. But rest assured, she was very, very promiscuous here, okay? 
She even might have worked in a high position here I'm getting. Very, I'm seeing a tall person. Very arrogant. I'm also seeing a shorter person too here with um, maybe red hair, freckles for some of you guys. Okay. I feel that it looks like it's several females that's here. Okay. But in any event, the female turned out to be a liar. A hoe, if you will. You know, a thief, a con artist. And she told with your emotions and took advantage of you. And I feel that it, it appears that you might have had an on-again, off-again type um, situation with this female. And again, you know, I'm seeing a lot of violence, a lot of pointing of fingers, a lot of physical abuse, even makeup sex. I see a separation that seemed to have occurred because you realize you were dealing with someone who did all types of drugs. You know, she was just a serial hole and that you'll never accomplish anything if you continue to be with this cold, rude woman here. All right. I'm also seeing a petite type woman, too, that seems to me like coming into the picture soon. But I'm just feeling that. Your situation was just very toxic with her. She was just a nagger, uh, you know, very stingy. You know, she even might have had tattoos or had a lot of stretch marks due to perhaps having other kids or whatever. But she even might even had a weave or wore hair extensions because I'm seeing like a receding type hairline with her. But at best, recognize that was a very, very toxic situation. If this hasn't already happened, it's in process happening at you know as we speak here okay so let's move right along and see if your future appears to be a bit brighter here let's select some more cars here we have the bear the bouquet the house and the child so yes it looks like that your your future looks a little bit better in the past but you're gonna have to embrace change here you're gonna have to get rid of that toxic past stuff because it's it's getting you nowhere all right so let's go on and just try to make up a story here so i see a very nurturing yet caring i see both a lighter and heavier set woman coming into the picture soon who will want a secure relationship with you she appears very charming and she might even work some i'm feeling maybe cosmetics or she might be a hairstylist or even works as an artist or decorates stuff. Or she might do something with flower as a florist or something. Okay? For some of you, she might even own her own business or works as a realtor. But for many of you, I'm kind of seeing she might be a bit younger, okay, that I'm getting. And I feel you are wise should you wish to, you know, move forward with this person to be very cautious and take things step by step because I feel that she certainly looks to be a better option for you okay so the past must be let go and it seems like you an auspicious turn of events is ahead for you guys okay so again embrace change and I also see many of you kind of settling down by the end of this year so trust your instincts and really look forward to a new beginning, okay? Even I'm, I'm seeing some type of athlete, even an athletic type woman perhaps or someone who works in the gym or even perhaps works in, with children. But I'm seeing a prosperous, a more prosperous situation develop as you move forward here. I'm also seeing a, a home, a nice neighborhood where you're going to be here as well. So... As I've done with the other uh, readings that I've done here, let me go on and select 20 letters out of this bag of 200 letters to help you, Leo gentlemen, to and females out there to identify any snakes that might surround you, people around whom you might want to consider being vigilant as you move forward throughout the remainder months of this year, okay? So 20 letters, spirits, who got me to the correct 20 letters to help my Leo gentlemen to identify the person or the people around whom they might want to consider being a bit more vigilant. Let's see. All right. Okay, we have a T, an O, 
an H, an E, an O, a P, another O, a C, a G, W, an A, S, another A, and another A. Let's see how many we have. 3, 6, 9, 12, 15. So let's select five more letters, Spirit. Five more letters. So Leo. We have an R, W, S. We have a blank tablet here, which means, Leo, you can select any letter, insert any letter in here to if it will make up a complete name of someone perhaps that you may have been suspicious. Okay? And last but not least, we have a Z. So let's go on and just call them back to you to make sure that you have them all. There are three A's. There are two S's, two W's, a G, three O's, an E, C, P, Z, T, H, R, and again, the blank tablet, which you might decide upon whatever letter that you wish to include there. Okay? So, since we are or have been talking about a few things that you might need to consider surrendering in terms of one of the things that we have mentioned is that you do need to surrender the past and to embrace change. So now let's move right along and just shuffle up another deck here to just get you four more messages here that Spirit would like you to know. Also during this time period in question are a few things that you might want to consider surrendering as you transform your life. Okay. So, Spirit, what additional messages would you like for me to share? Four more messages, okay? All right. Wow. Surrender your fear of change, as I've been saying throughout the reading. Understand that the universe is certainly reminding you that you are cared for always. Whether you're afraid of change in your job or your health, or as we see perhaps in your romantic situation. Or perhaps some of you might even be fearing aging and death. Repeat the affirmation. I have faith that all is certainly well. Surrender to your soul's plan, path. Understand that your life journey has been perfectly designed for your soul's growth. Embrace every lesson and every moment of it. Next message. Surrender to the beauty of the natural world. Try to take a relaxing break from time to time and spend time in nature. Replenish yourself by feeling the beauty and the ecstasy there. And last message. Surrender your fear of intimacy. That's very important. Understand that you are certainly ready to let love in compassionately identify and begin to release any patterns that have stopped you from opening your heart because that's very important. So in conclusion, I'd just like to leave you with one of my messages here from my postcards here. A message simply meant for you that spirit would like you to hear, particularly during this time period in question. Keep in mind, Leo gentlemen and you females out there, this reading has resonated with you guys. Be sure to give it a big thumbs up. Subscribe if you've yet to subscribe. And remember, if you'd like to have a more personalized reading, you can definitely contact me and the information provided within the description box. Okay? So, Spirit, what final message would you like for me to share? Okay. And here we go. Let's see what it says. Dearest you, do you ever wonder whether your ideas and inspiration might be coming through your soul rather than generated from your mind alone? We are here to tell you, we are always whispering in your ear about your highest good. 
We are conduits of spirit, letting you know you are a living channel for this awesome co-creative energy. When you're feeling inspired, it means you heard us. Inspiration means spirit is breathing through you. Inspiration needs your human passion to keep it going so you can make a difference in the world. So keep moving on what inspires you. Let yourself be led into new experiences and know that this is why you are on earth. Your purpose is to discover your spirit nature and to bring forth through your efforts whatever is meant to be. Wondrous miracles have a way of showing up when you let inspiration propel you forward. You are so, so loved. Okay? Gentlemen, this is a very empowering message. Be sure to like and share if this reading has resonated for you. Be sure to subscribe if you've yet to subscribe. Share this reading to others to whom you may think might benefit. All right? And I certainly appreciate your time. Look forward to hearing your comments. Enjoy your day.